What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to a brand new episode of Maximus the Fourth. Whereas today, we're going to take an honest and complete deep dive look at the Game Boy Color. Here we go. The Game Boy Color, commonly abbreviated as GBC, was a unit that was an 8-bit that was originally manufactured was an 8-bit handheld game console manufactured by Nintendo which was released in Japan on October 1st of 1998 into international markets that November. The Game Boy Color is the successor of the Game Boy and is very much part of its product line. Critics like Akin consider it more to a hardware revision to like Akin than a next generation product. The handheld features a color screen rather than a monochrome, but it is not backlit. It is slightly thicker and taller and features a slightly smaller screen in the Game Boy Pocket. Its immediate predecessor, as with the original Game Boy, it has a custom 8-bit processor made by Sharp that is considered a hybrid between the 1880 and the Zilog 2080, the American English spelling of the system's name. The Game Boy Color remains consistent throughout the world. The GBC is part of the fifth generation video game consoles. The Game Boy and the Game Boy Color combined have sold 118.69 million units worldwide, making them the fourth best selling system of all time. Its best selling games are Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver, which shipped 23 million units worldwide. Development for the Game Boy Color began in 1996 when Nintendo received requests from game developers for a more sophisticated handheld platform who said that even the latest iteration of the original system, the Game Boy Pocket had insufficient hardware. Nintendo developed the console currently with Project Atlantis. The resultant product was backward compatible with all existing Game Boy significantly larger game library than any of its competitors. Nintendo formally announced the release of the Game Boy Color on March 10th of 1998. All remaining new units were sold by March 31st of 2023. The size of one of these comes out to be 78 by 133.5 by 27.4 millimeters, which translates to approximately 3 by 5 by 1 in inches. It weighs 138 grams, which comes out to be 4.9 ounces, and it is powered with two AA batteries and has a battery life of up to 10 hours worth of gameplay if you have good batteries. It has a memory capacity of 32 kegabytes, and I believe that a built-in memory capacity of 32 kegabytes, and I believe 1,000 kegabytes equals one full gigabyte. So it's not a whole lot, but it's pretty decent. And I believe the Game Boy Color was available up to 16 different colors, but there's also been a lot of very rare limited edition and crazy releases. For instance, like there was a very, very rare Game Boy Color that was released that had Mew, that Pokemon character, featured on the shell of it. And I can't remember exactly, but those Mew Game Boy Colors are incredibly rare. And I think I might have seen one that was going for like $2,000. But if I'm completely wrong, it could have been 200 But... And that, ladies and gentlemen, is for the most part everything you would need to know about the Game Boy. Now let's scan this thing and 
give it a shot. Now just to go over with you guys and how this thing is functioned. You have your A and your B buttons, start, select. You have your little speaker right here at the bottom and then your cross. And this is the volume dial right here. And then on the other side, that is your power switch off and on. And very simple, just like the old Game Boy on the back. There is a sticker that they left leave you with right here. Questions and service 1 800 255 3700 Nintendo authorized repair centers. So that is a very neat and cool feature. And it's very simple. It's just you have the game cartridge that slides right in on the back, just like this. And voila. It is powered by two AA batteries, which is maybe a little bit better than the original Game Boy, because the original Game Boy took four batteries. Let's turn this thing on and see what we can see. Oh, the game that I am going to demo for you guys today is Revenge of the Gator. And right off the bat, you can already see that the color is showing up way better on screen than the original Game Boy. Oh, it's pinball. Boom. Oh, no. It looks like there's more than just one level where there's the, uh, those whacker things that hit the pinball. There's not just one level. There's, like, more than one level of those, which is very, uh, different. Most pinball games, you just have one level of those whackers. But in this one, you have a little bit of a bigger chance of life. But, that's pretty much it. You guys get the point. Very simple layout. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is, for the most part, the complete history and all the details that you need to know about the Game Boy Color. See you next time.